Hi everyone, Squiggle Mom here, and I'm here to show you how to make a pleated mask with filter pocket and filter. First, we start by cutting a pattern. If you're uncomfortable with cutting the fabric straight, these are just rectangles that we're making. So if you're comfortable with it, go for it. Just do it straight on the fabric. Here I've created a pattern that has a six inch by six inch square finished product. And then I added a half inch so that I can have a seam allowance on either side, here and here, and then a seam allowance at the top of a quarter inch for all of them. Then to cut it, you put it with this on the fold. See, I have a little fold here, that's the notation. And then cut away, right? So when you've done that, you'll end up with a square piece of fabric rectangle, rectangular piece of fabric, yeah. And you want to finish the edges, the top and bottom edges, the short edges, by zigzagging them. That'll prevent fraying from happen, happening after the mask is made. Then you sew the mask together, the long, the short edges of the mask together but not the whole edge, just here for about an inch and a half and on this side for about an inch and a half. So that leaves an opening for you to re replace the filter when you want to, okay? Here we have one that is sewn and you can see that I haven't completed this part yet, but this here is, is sewn and we want to, the next step is to iron the seam open, iron it flat as they say. And then I also for these I put a straight stitch along e each of these to keep them super flat, right? And then it totally prevents any of these from sort of curling in and causing little problems. Here is what it looks like when it is sewn flat and you can see that the, um, the little stitching here and the zigzag, okay? Then on this one, I have also pinned the elastic because this is a pleated mask with air loops, which usually means elastic. And here's a piece of elastic. I'm using 11 inches of elastic. And I am uh, tying little knots in the ends. What that will do is hopefully add a little bit of resistance if there is, because the elastic is a pull point, a tension point, and it could create some weakness in the mask. So putting a little knot means that there's more that has to come through a little hole that might be made if you, you know, after you, you've worn the mask for a while. So then you pin it so that the inside, the elastic is on the inside, and then the idea is to stitch a quarter inch from either end, right? And we're going to do that. Here I have stitched this one, right here, and then I haven't stitched this one yet. So, but on this one, I have, right? So I stitched it. This is great. Now we get to turn it. So turning is just like this. It's kind of fun. And it exposes the really pretty patterns that we've selected for our mask. All right, so it looks like a little bag, right? A sack. Right? kind of straighten it out and we can get the iron. Now we actually get to work. All of that was prepped stuff. Here I'm going to show you. We're going to do a little ironing. Woohoo! We're going to iron. And then we are going to pin it and sew it. Now I use extra elastic because I have had to 
lengthened. People have brought masks to me and said, oh, it's too short, I want you to lengthen it. And it, that doesn't really appeal to me, lengthening the mask. Oh, now what happens here? My otter shut off, otter shut off. So, okay, I don't even have to do that. So now we want to put three pleats. Actually, it's a kid's mask, so maybe three might be a little bit much. We might put two pleats, okay? So, two pleats. So let's measure this. You know, it when you're sewing, sometimes the measurements get a little off, but here it looks like we're sort of okay. And... We could be very specific and say, and certainly if you're following a pattern, it'll say, put a little line so that you can know where, you know, where the pleat starts and ends, but I prefer not to do that. Okay. What I prefer to do is to just go for it <laughs> and then I measure as I go all right so that looks pretty good I'm gonna do one here and then that looks pretty good and I'll do one here Okay, look, see, so that's why we're doing two pleats, because it's so little that three pleats would be practically impossible, but that's super cute, isn't it? Now, when you do the pleats, you want to make sure not to overlap your, um, your pleats, because if you do, it will cause a problem with when you try to um, stretch it. Uh, it will, they just won't work right. The mask will be a little funky. Probably still wearable, but a little funky. Okay, so this one. As you can see, it probably could have been a little bit. No, oh, that looks okay. Maybe a little tiny bit uneven. So if you have been watching my channel, you will know that this whole being prepared and giving you a step-by-step -step instruction on what I've done is kind of new. And I'd like your feedback on whether it is of greater value to you than my 45 minute, this is how I did it videos. <laughs> I suspect it might be, but now we're trying to bring it down to a 10 minute. This is how I did it video. Okay, so we got a little problem here, but I will take care of that. So now it's on straight stitch. I'm just going to stitch a quarter inch from the edge and then back up. I'm actually going to get this a little closer so you can see better. Yeah, guys, I have a studio. How awesome is that, huh? I never thought I would have a studio. I never thought I would actually make even a penny sewing. But suddenly, everybody needs masks. And... Got a place to sell them. It's not just Etsy. We have the. Oh, 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 oh! I did it. I did the bad thing. Look what I did. Ah! Gotta get a seam ripper. Oh my gosh. So much of being prepared. God. <laughs> I 
I can't even get my prepared speech right. Okay, so I'm going to rip this out. You get to see my recovery. I am going to post this because bad or good, it's what went down. Okay, here we go. Ugh, and I saw it and I meant to go around it or not go, not make, go through it, but I didn't take care of the problem right away. And there we go. We went over it. Okay, but all is not lost. So see, if you use a seam ripper, you can recover. Okay, great. And then we do the other side, right? So here we go, the other side. Something popped. Oh. Nothing goes right when you want it to go right, huh? Look, there I am. I'm all prepared. I prepared all my stuff, and the little bit that I decide that I'm going to do in real time, bam. You know, I might as well just do a 45 minute video. Ugh, cracky cock. Whatever that word is. I don't know. Cracky cock. Okay, there we go. Okay, ripping. And there it is. It's a mask. Look at that, people. It's a mask. In 10 minutes or less. So I'm going to take you back over to the ironing board where we're going to press the flat. And. Then we will um, finish the trimming and get the filter going. So, I'm not exactly sure why. Oh, is it going now? Oh, I have to press the on button because it timed out, which is good. I got an auto, auto shut off iron so that if I left it on, it would shut itself off, which is always a good thing. To have. Yay, auto shut off. Okay. And trimming all the little strings off because those are annoying. Okay. Great. Isn't that so cute? Look at how cute that is. We have tons of fabrics that we're making them out of. These sell in the booth downstairs. The kids' sizes are very reasonable. Somewhere between five and seven dollars. And then the adult sizes in this pleated mask are, um, I wanna say seven to ten dollars, right? Depending upon the fabric. Like this is a super cute fabric, so this might be a little bit more. Now let's talk about the filter, All right? So here is the filter. Now this is a little bit small, right? This guy, um, it's six inches at the long side. So I wanna say that's about six inches, right? Let's see, we can measure six inches. That's about six inches, cause that's that. Okay, so we cut this. And 
then we fold this over and we just kind of curve it into an oval. What we're trying to do is get it to be a little um, poofy. And it might be a little weird. Getting it in, I mean. That's why you leave the hole, right? So it can be inserted. And then what that does is it helps to keep it a little breathable. All right, so this is the top here. Mine looks a little fluffy, but here it has a little bit of shape. Now I'm, you know, actually this one I made yesterday is the first one that I actually made for myself because I use a different model. Can you see that? You can't see that. I use a different style. Um, but, uh, but I like it actually. So this is the kids version. Isn't that super cute? And, um, the filter probably could do, use a little adjustment, but you do that by putting it on and adjusting it, right? Yep. Washable, cute pattern. If you want to learn more, when you can make it yourself, you can have one for every outfit. This one will go with orange, light blue, green, purple, uh, more green, dark green, dark blue, and anything else? Yeah? Alright, that's it. That's all she wrote. How to make a surgical... Ah! Oh, the nose piece! <laughs> okay, this is going to be a 19 minute video. Alright, so for the nose piece, what we can do is, because the nose piece is important. See, actually, here it's a little bit long, so we just cut off a piece of it. Actually, this is a little hard to do with this. Um, there. Okay. Then we can take this off and we look for this part, right? So this is the top. And we can slip it in and stick it on. We can unstick it from our fingers. Yeah, you know, I had a thought that I could do this before I actually sewed it, and I forgot to try that out, so maybe I'll do that in a different video. Like, redo this video again. Hey, that wouldn't be bad. Okay, so see, here it is, and we just adjust it here. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to stitch along the center of the nose piece. I use both pieces because honestly I think it is not good to have a solid uh, nose piece because it just is, right? And you want you want a little bit of solidity there. And so because then it fits on your face better. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm just going to show you how we stitch the nose piece. So we're a little out of order here, and um, but that's okay, right? I think we're going to have a take four on this video. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll be done. I think I'll be done. I got many videos left to do, so <laughs> we're done then. Alrighty. Okay.
here's as good as it gets. Alrighty. Alrighty. Yay. Supity duper. Okay. Now this combined with the filter for sure makes it a nice mask, right? Look at that. Super. All right. Nice chatting with you and see you next time. Tomorrow maybe. Because I'm on a roll.